on my Phillips screwdriver. I thought I just had it out here. There it is. So basically, uh, to get the uh, ring gear out, there's just, you know, these, these are either three Phillips screws or sometimes they're, I think I've maybe someone had replaced them with uh, bolts uh, in the past, but uh, my uh, friend has a QT50 that we're going to do this to, and this had been sitting around apart a for months waiting on him, and uh, it still has not happened. So I, I put it, kind of put it back together because I'd already lost a, a lock washer off of it, which is no big deal. So you can kind of see the greasy mess that, that it is in there. And then I've, I've got the ring gear already out. And I'm going to take off this. This is actually, I don't think it came with a, an axle nut. This is actually off a Honda Express. But uh, basically, you know, the ring gear just, uh, if I can line up the uh, splines, which for some reason I can't. But anyways, this goes all the way in, and you, you, you basically kind of push it out from, from the other side. And then one thing you want to keep track of, excuse me, is this little washer spacer that goes on the back side. Uh, with this in, it, this goes in. Um, so don't lose that because you'll need that later. And this one actually took a little bit of uh, persuasion to get out. I ended up having to just press this out. I don't know if it was probably frozen to the bearing or one of the bearings in here. There's two bearings, one right there and one on the other side. This bearing isn't all the way in. But this spacer goes over the axle on top of the bearing there. So um, you get that out and then I'm going to use this nut later. Uh, we're going to have to press this gear off of this axle because the PW50 axle is meant for a wider tire so it's longer than the QT50 axle. So we want to press this axle out of this gear and press in a QT50 axle into this gear and then sw uh, swap uh, the QT50 ring gear onto the PW50 axle later. Let me set this up in the vise and we'll go from there. I'm going to apply heat to this gear with this crappy propane torch for about 10 minutes or so um, because that'll make it a lot easier to press the axle out of the gear. So I'm not going to catch this on film because I'm going to have to set up the camera over at the press because when I transfer this I got to be ready to go so it doesn't cool down on me. Uh, let's see what we can do here. There you go. She's out. Um, I've got my uh, QT50 differential here. And uh, I pressed in uh, the QT50 axle into the PW50 gear. Or, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So now we got to get this uh, pinion gear out. And this is my own little concoction to do this. Look out. There goes the bearing. So we just spun it out. And what we got? We got a uh, we got a bearing. I think this should all just pop out. So, actually, I just keep this assembly together and 
throw the uh, really all right yeah but I think I'll, I've only got this hand tight here. All right, that's off. Yes. So let's should be able to just pull this out. Let me get some pliers. So, this is the one I want, and this does not go like that. It goes like this. So, bearing spacer bearing. Pop that in the QT50. And then give it a little tightening. There we go. We should do it. And then, uh, We'll add some grease, but I just want to Yeah, that, that's a lot better. So I will uh, add some grease 